Hey, good morning, everybody. <clears throat> this is Jim and Linda Moore coming at you. Uh, not our regular program, Words of Encouragement, but uh, yeah, here we are. There's Miss Linda making me breakfast. Amen. <laughs> and uh, just stepping out the RV this morning. We are in New Mexico right now. Just kind of wanted to give you an update of where we're at and what we're doing. And I'll see if I can get to where you can see things. It is, yes, that's the sun. And it is a beautiful sunny day here in uh, New Mexico. Fort, Fort Sumner, I think is what it is, Fort Sumner. I wasn't paying too close of attention because we had a little bit of an incident happen yesterday that I'll, I'll tell you about here in a second. But uh, yeah, just I just wanted to let you know where we, where we were at and what we're doing so that you could hold us up before the Lord and keep um, praying for us. And uh, we're on a four or five day journey into the Willamette Valley, back into the Salem, Portland, Eugene area. Well, the whole state of Oregon, actually. And uh, got a number of meetings lined up there. And so <clears throat> we're going to be hopefully in the next day or two uh, printing off to you what our services are going to be so that you can pray. We're going to try to, um, you know, broadcast each one of them. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to, but we're going to give it our best shot. But we want to pray. And God has really laid on my heart about miracles. Really believe in God for miracles. Miracles of salvation, deliverance healing, uh, provision, broken marriages, all of those things that the Lord really wants to do because he wants his people to be healthy. He wants us, as I said yesterday, I use the threefold phrase that I use often, and that is, um, see, I'm, I, and they are in order, holy, healthy, happy. Because <laughs> without holiness, no man shall see God, the scripture says. So holiness comes first, and then healthy comes second. It's really tough to enjoy life if you're not healthy. It really is. I mean, everything that you'd like to do or want to do kind of gets shut down. So that's one of the primary strategies of the enemy is to come against you uh, with your health. So you really need to, to work on that. Do your part and God will do his part. The, as the old saying says, you can't do God's part. God won't do your part. Amen. It's a good thing to remember. And then the third thing, of course, is to be happy. God wants you to be happy. Uh, life doesn't always make it easy, and don't think because you have bad things happen to you that that doesn't mean God doesn't want you to be happy. I mean, they may knock you down for a minute, and it'll smart, and or maybe a, a day or a week or a month, who knows, you know. But you can still decide what you're going to do with that thing that's happening. So I want to show you. I'm going to turn around the camera right now because i got to make this short. Can't do a full program because we do have to travel. And as you're going to see in a second, we've got a particular need that happened. I'm just going to share with you the stuff that happens. And uh, yeah, hope that it's okay. Oh, there's a little puppy dog. He's he's looking at me wondering what I'm doing here at the back of my RV. All right, I'm going to turn the camera around. I'm only going to do this for another minute or so. 